Cricket, not just a sport in Sri Lanka, but a way of life. If you are a Sri Lankan, whether or not you love the game, play the game or watch it, somehow, cricket has the ability to get in the way of everyday life. Sri Lanka being a small country, revenue earned through tourism is essential and the foreign following attracted by sports such as cricket heavily contributes filling Sri Lanka cricket's coffers. The adoption of a two-tired charge system for locals and tourists is rather common across sites of archaeological importance to wildlife parks in the country. The question that has to be answered is whether it is morally viable to exploit the visitors, especially in sports. That is the concern England cricket team's travelling fan base, the Barmy Army, is having at the moment. The concerns stem from an alleged two-tie ticket policy for locals and foreigners. The alleged difference in price is so vast, it beggars belief. According to the Barmy Army, a local fan is said to be charged a mere 300 rupees for entry during the upcoming test series between Sri Lanka and England, played here in the island. In contrast, an English fan will be charged 50 pounds, which is equivalent of over 10,000 rupees per day, meaning it will cost them 50,000 rupees to watch a test match, given the match lasts five days. The issue is not that foreigners are charged a higher rate, but the alleged rate is almost vulgar. A similar incident occurred back in 2012 where English fans were charged £25 a day, whilst locals paid less than £1 to watch the proceedings. In an attempt to get clarification on the matter, First at Nine attempted to contact Sri Lanka Cricket. Our efforts, however, were futile since none of the officials we contacted were willing to provide accurate information and said that figures can be revealed on Monday. After drawing a blank with the SLC, we contacted former Minister of Sports Daya Sirijai Sekara, who said the matter requires the intervention of the Ministry of Sports. We must try to get more and more people to this matter, especially for British people. They are spending for their tickets and accommodation and all kind of things to come here and be there, and be there in Sri Lanka. But I think the minister will uh, interfere for this and uh, try to minimize uh, the whole thing. I think uh, that uh, thing happened in 2012 because uh, we didn't have a proper mechanism. So actually, the uh, minister should uh, interfere and stop this uh, nonsense, actually. Uh, by, by having these kind of things, our reputation is gone. First at Nine then spoke to Minister of Sports Faiza Mustafa, who said that he is already informed of the matter. No, I think that prior to us taking over, the ticket sales have been outsourced. I also have been informed that there is an issue about it. There is some seriousness in this. Therefore, I will have a, a discussion with the CEO. And at any stage, if it's a deterrent for the Bami Army coming to Sri Lanka, you will have to take rectifier message immediately. So I would be hoping to summon a meeting with the CEO on Monday and take some appropriate steps. They have raised the concern that is excessive. We need the Bami Army to come and witness the matches. And if these ticket prices have deterring them from coming, we will see how we can rectify it.